Good morning, YouTube. Hey, it's going to be a good episode here on the Ultimate Garage. We're going to finish off the office. We're going to be doing a lot of the framing of that stuff. We're going to be adding the front porch around it, uh, putting purlins on top, and I get those through boots, uh, through bolts, through the uh, rim joists, uh, in preparation for the um, trusses. So stick with me. A lot going on this episode. Lots of updates. Let's get going. Welcome to my life. Good morning, YouTube. It's kind of a rainy day. The rain's coming on and off and on and off and on and off. Um, I, I knew the guys weren't working today. They'll be back on Monday. Um, anyway, I was just out here when it's not raining, just thinking things through and, and uh, doing little stuff. Uh, some of the bolts weren't cut off, so I went ahead and cut those off. And then uh, um, just, this is just save some time for the guys, right? I went ahead and took the, the, the uh, frame out of here and all that stuff. People kept tripping on it. Hopefully, it don't trip in the hole, though. I have to put something over that, but uh, I got the frame out of there, cut it all out. And then this wall, when my wife walked in here, uh, when you walk in, that wall was actually quite a bit longer. It was a uh, four feet, a four, four foot wall. I mean, I just kind of made that decision on the fly. We had redone the bathroom, if you remember. Well, I think I talked about it. I don't know if you'll remember or not, because most of this has been time lapse. But uh, uh, I just knew I had a 36 inch shower, so I was like, oh, four foot, and just kind of made that call on the fly uh and then when my wife walked in she's like well the time you put that sink in there you're really gonna kind of feel crowded walking to the toilet so i uh thought about it and agreed with her and so i moved that back to 40 inches it still gives me plenty of room for my shower and then a strip of drywall whatever i'll have to throw another stud in there uh, at the edge of my shower but anyway that'll be easy using easy stuff to do later um anyway so that that does open this walkway up through here quite a bit and then the sink i'm probably just gonna pipe that over to the next bay anyway the drain and then uh put the sink kind of center of the sink here so that even make that space even bigger uh the ceiling i'm not sure what i'm gonna do we had originally ordered raptors um but then uh we talked started talking about stick framing it um yeah so i gotta kind of get in a new mindset about it i had thought about that before uh putting stick framing it and then doing a high ceiling um and then i just thought about efficiency for insulation yada 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 um uh, just thought well 10 feet's enough for the ceiling um i almost ordered rafters that were peaked so you'd have that air gap in between right um but anyway we ended up doing this it was a whole lot cheaper saved a lot of money um so now i'm gonna have a peak ceiling so i kind of got to think through all that stuff uh one of the things that uh actually i one of the reasons why i wasn't going to do peak ceiling is because uh i wanted it to be able to be able to drywall it myself and my lift doesn't go that high it does do 10 foot ceilings but it doesn't do these so i'll actually have to have help doing that and uh you, you know when you're when you do most things by yourself usually um that stuff matters i mean but now i have to figure it out so whatever i will figure it out i need, need to put the purlins on top and then the metal that'll give me the air gap then i have to insulate this and then dry roll on this so but we will figure it out for sure um, it will be grander for sure. I even thought about uh, going and looking for some uh, big uh, hand hewn logs or something to put across there. I'd need two 20 footers and a 12 footer, which I think I could probably find in this area. There's a lot of tobacco barns and there is a reclaimed wood shop. I just don't know what they would cost, but that would look cool up there. Uh, three beams. Uh, eh, but I don't know. I mean, that's, that's more money, right? Um, so we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. But uh, yeah. That's kind of my day today. Just thinking through stuff like that. How I'm going to drywall. Uh, what lights I'm going to put in here now because that all changed. Um, of course, it's not a flat ceiling. So it'll be interesting to see for sure. I know the bottom row I can get on with my little machine, but I may have to find some kind of extender or something. I don't even know if they make them for my machine. So I'll be looking that up. And I'm definitely going to have to get some scaffolding like this to do my lights and electric or whatever. Unless Jared just leaves it and lets me borrow it for a while. But he's so busy, he probably needs it. So yeah, that's kind of my day. Then I'm just thinking about the drains in the back because I haven't put those in there yet. I was thinking I could do it later. Um, but I'm not sure that I'll be able to do it later. Uh, well, this one anyway. Um, I did all the ones on the other side because they're getting poured over. I did the one in the front corner because I knew it was going to wash pretty heavy and I wanted the water out of that corner. 
So I've ran that one out to there. And of course, you know, I put these road drains in here. So that washes right across there and it's working great, by the way. Um, but I didn't do any gutters on the side because I figured I'm just digging through dirt. I can do it later. And then wherever they put the, the downspouts, I could just run straight out and it'll flush in there. And then, but on this one, I keep going back and forth on what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to pour to the edge, this, this pad to the edge of this building. I kept thinking I would just go to here, but when I come to finish it out later, I think that, that section, what do you do with it? And I don't want them to try to get up here and blacktop on top of that or whatever, or have to re-pour again just to fill that in and it wouldn't match or whatever. So I think I'm going to do from just the other side of that door, maybe a foot or two, and then come out all the way to the edge of the building there and then come straight down, maybe 16 feet. I'm not hundred percent sure yet, but that changes this. Now I have to put that drain in there. So I'll need to dig that out and get it out there. Really way too muddy to do that today, but I got to have that in the back of my head to get that done. I really want to get this poured soon uh, because I'll need a way into my building and there's a lot of concrete work to be done on the other side. So I think once the roof is on and they pull these braces, that's going to be my next feed is to get that going um, and get those out of there. Then I got the electrician coming next week, so that's good. Um, Jerry, uh, wonderful guy. Um, I actually uh, went around the neighborhood looking at electrical and uh, man this guy is so neat uh, and his wires are so straight I just love it and uh, so I got talking to him and I thought he was gonna be unreasonable because of that and he's not at all he's actually really good well priced um, I mean he's not cheap but he's well priced and then he does that great work so I was like well that's my guy so he'll be coming next week I already got the schedule 40 and schedule 80 uh, pipe side run just about to every Lowe's in this area and I don't know if you're in the same situation where you are but everybody's out of everything and it's really hard to find stuff um several lows said they had schedule 80 when you get there they don't have schedule 80. i think what's happening is uh, electricians know that and they're putting the schedule 80 on the bottom of their cart and they're stacking schedule 40 on top of their cart and then the lady comes and scans it and says how many you have and they're like 25 and they get the schedule 80 for the same price as schedule 40. and so the inventories get off i don't know uh if that's true or not but when I went to Mount Sterling, I was like, why do they have it out here and nobody else does? And I went to the cash register and the lady moved every single pipe and scanned everyone individually. So I believe that's what's going on. I think people are getting Schedule 80 for their price to Schedule 40. But anyway, uh, just stuff in general. Even even the Schedule 40 regular sewer pipe was hard to get. Um, you know, it comes in waves. Uh, but anyway, I went ahead and got all that, so it's ready to go. I've had my electric, uh, the main electric company come out and do their survey. Uh, they were really good to me. Uh, I was going to have to run uh, 250 feet out to that transformer right there. Uh, and the neighbors are building their house on the back of their property as well. So they they suggested to me that they could move that all the way back back here. Uh, and I don't know if I've talked about this before or not, but they moved it to this flag here. I don't know if you can see that. But it works out really well for me because this is 105 feet from the corner of my wall where I want my uh, electrical boxes to be. And uh, so they were going to put the, tra they were actually going to put the transformer on the property line, which is over here. Um, but I asked them not to do that because I planned to put a horse fence, a black horse fence all the way up and across and eventually gate my, my road. Um, so they, they thought that was a good idea not to do that because I'm going to drill in the, that power line all the way down. So we moved it over actually onto my property. Um, so that it wouldn't be in the way of that fence eventually. And I said, you know, I don't mind the neighbors digging across, they're good people, whatever. So 105 feet, instead of 250 feet, I mean, it saved me like a thousand dollars right there in conduit. I mean, conduit's so expensive right now. So I got that done, that worked out well. Uh, the, the service will be right here on the front corner of this backside, or I call it the backside. Got some uh, city folks coming through. <coughs> but the electrical boxes will be on this backside or the electrical service will be on this back side. And on the other side, I'll have two 200 amp panels. Um, so I have 400 amps total, which I think will service me just fine with all my welders and you know, all of my welder and uh, you know, all my tools. So I think uh, that'll work out great. I have plenty of room to grow. I have to do another new service anyway, because my house is maxed out. It's already 400 amps and actually probably, and has a panel in the basement as well. So it's probably 
really limited it out not that we pull that many amps but the circuits are already there so um you know if i wanted to run heat and air which i definitely do in the office in here um you know that sucks up a lot of power so you know it, you're talking about 400 dollars difference and i know 400 dollars is a lot of money but it's for the rest of your life type 400 dollars, and then it doesn't seem like that big of a deal to get 400 amps in here so my two panels will be here in this corner and then they'll break out from there so 105 feet works out really well just wish we were working but can't work in the rain and we really are waiting on raptors anyway on I mean, it honestly uh or truss sorry truss once the trusts get here, uh, we'll be rocking and rolling, but they won't come till the 8th. So that's kind of where we're at. All right, that's your update. Hey, YouTube. So I got a little board. So I climbed up here. I got to start drilling these through bolts in. Save me a little money. I don't know. Might save me a couple hours of labor. Well, here's what I know. I know I'm not 20 anymore, and I know I'm not 30 anymore, and I know I'm not 40 anymore. Anyway, um, yeah, drilling these through, it's not easy. Uh, I haven't hung on to the monkey bars and all that for quite some time, so it's wearing me out. I've done three. Hey, it'll save me a little bit of money anyway, and time-wise, right? But uh, that ain't looking good. Hopefully that doesn't hit us, or otherwise I'm going to be stopped again. But... Um, yeah, I figure I'll get these four done. We'll see how I feel after that. There's uh, two on each one of those all the way down, right? So two, two. Oh, there might be a one there, and then another two, and then a two, and then a one. So um, definitely wearing me out. Um, but hey, whatever. I mean, something to do. I was bored anyway. Uh, if the rain doesn't hit, I, I may just keep moseying. It'll take me a long time, but. The other thing we gotta do is we gotta recenter the top of this side. This side's tough because it's all just it's all openings, right? So there's not a lot of posts. So basically we're gonna get that side really straight. It's pretty straight now. And this one, this side isn't it. This side has moved a little bit. We'll get the top of that really straight and then we'll pull it with the trusses and get this side straight off that side. That's kind of the plan, I think. So uh yeah, let me get back to drilling. The reason I'm putting two is because you got a seam, so I'm putting one on each side of that seam. You know, so that ends up with two per board. If it doesn't have a seam, I'd only put one through, but um, just about all of them have one side or the other has a seam. So, all right, enough jaw jacking. Let me get back to work. up dang it gotta climb down and get bolts my arm too worn out to get out <laughs> Woo. Appreciate looking up and seeing these <laughs> five bolts go in. <laughs> I guess I'll appreciate the young bucks when I'm watching them put the rest of them in later. Hey, 
Hey YouTube, hey today's been an interesting day. I got my tractor all ready for the hay ride and I got the hay on the trailer for the kids. I think I can fit about 24 on each side, so about 50 kids I can fit, but usually we have about 30 I think in our neighborhood. Basically in our neighborhood the houses are so far from the road, uh, I just take them from house to house and they run down the driveways and back. So I tell you they are worn out by the time they get back. But uh, Also today I finally have gotten down this whole side with the lag bolts all the way down it is a total pain in the butt but uh i got her she's in there uh one of them i, I couldn't get past the nail so it's kind of off it goes at an angle but uh but i got them all in so uh i'll probably start the other side i'm not sure i need to get my armor break but uh i can't go too far on their side i think two four five i think i can put four, uh five six i guess i can put six in on the other side because they haven't pushed finished putting the boards on the end down there and that's good. I mean, we'll get that. morning YouTube hey it's another day it's a good day today Scott and Joshua here just knocked out the top gable and got tree over here putting in the roof over the bathroom so it's coming along wait till you put that porch on there that's beautiful that's beautiful yeah once we get that porch on is exactly right because then we can put our blocks in our fly rafters coming down to hit that other porch it's yep. gonna look really good It'll be pretty
right, YouTube. Hey, the guys have gone to lunch. It's been a good day today so far. Um, I think I've already showed you a lot of this stuff, but I made a little box just to keep my main line insulated because it did drop in temperature. Um, we have finished, uh, the guys finished putting the wall up yesterday above the bathroom and the joist in. I think I showed you that earlier in my cut. I can't remember what I showed you when I have it. Um, the guys have been working on the corners, joist. They got these beams, the outer beams blocked in now. So those look really good. And then they just got to work the corner rafter still left in here. They did get the angle right, which took a sec, took a bit, we got it. So they got that in there. And we'll just have to do the beams across and the beams, well, I think there's one more this way that needs to go in uh, for the ceiling to go against. But other than that, it's pretty much tidied up and ready to go. So we are definitely getting there. Um, still got a couple boards on the outer band out here to get in uh, before we're joist ready. But other than that, um, get those on there, get some through bolts through and we're ready to go. The, uh, we still have five days because it is the third today and the, the uh, raptors don't come in on the eighth. Um, so we still got a few days. Yeah, I see this. They got to get the outer band on here and the through bolts through, but um, we're getting close for sure.
Oh, hey, good morning, YouTube. Hey, this morning, it's just a beautiful Saturday morning. It was cold as crap this morning. It's about 11.30, I think, or almost 12 o'clock, probably. Uh, but it's nice out here now. I'm actually sweating. I'm out here just putting these through bolts in on the other side. Just trying to get them all locked down. Or like I can say, the builder a little time and it's something I can do, you know. I'm not very fast at it, I'll be honest, but uh, you don't have to be fast when you have all day. So there are things on my list, but I figured I'd try to get at least some of these in because where's my arm out? Um, so if it was a drill, really trying to get that drill through there. So I figure at least if I get a couple in there, uh, then I can rest up while I'm doing whatever I'm doing and come back at it this afternoon. Uh, but yeah, I got a little system. I found a, uh, a metal drill bit. Just works way better because these wood ones, there's nails like crazy and screws and everything. Then you're hitting them and uh, the metal one just goes right through the other side and uh, I have to hit it from each side and then I send the long pole through just to make the, the uh, make them line up real nice and neat so that the bolt goes right through. But um, yeah, I've got pretty much a little system now. <sighs> so I went and got some double bubble and I put that right in my way. Not that it's heavy, it's just that I have to move it now. <laughs> so I gotta get all that moved uh, so that I can roll on down. I think I can get two more bolts in without moving anything. I'll probably go around it and do the rest of it and then come back to it or whatever. But regardless, I need to move that double bubble this morning. So, yeah. I figured I'd at least try to get something done. Uh, progress is going really well. Uh, so, new schedule, trust is on Monday, should show up. We're not sure when. Uh, he's got another job on Tuesday, so they'll be back on Wednesday. It is, there's a chance of rain though, Wednesday and Thursday. So he's going to work through that. He said he would. Um, uh, this will hopefully is the last time that my wood gets wet. I can't stand that. Um, but 36, I think, percent chance of rain on those two days. So we'll see what happens, you know. But, uh, as soon as the raptors get on, it's, uh, the metal company I'm using for the exterior metal, uh, is a 48 hour turn from the time you call it in to the time they have it ready to go. The metal for the inside is ready in 24 hours and that's actually really close. The difference in metal, besides price, uh, I'm paying more actually, uh, is that uh, it's got the place that I'm going has a Sherman Williams uh, lifetime guarantee and there's a lot of rules to that. So I, you know, whatever, but I know Sherman Williams is reputable. So. I'm going to go with that. The other place offers a 40 year wear, wear, uh, guarantee, but their sign is fading. <laughs> the metal on their sign is fading. So that doesn't give me much hope for 40 years. Um, and I want it to look as good as long as I can. So I'm going to go with the place that owns the, that has the Sherwin Williams um, paint system, whatever. And I'm going to pay a little more and I'm going to hope that that actually makes it uh, a lot longer. So anyway, that's the plan. So crane comes Wednesday. Trust is coming Monday, get the roof on. So you figure Wednesday, they'll throw them up there. They'll be working on that Thursday, Friday. Hopefully by Friday, we're measuring, ordering the steel. Um, and hopefully the steel then can come Monday. Maybe, maybe, I don't know if they're delivering on Sunday, probably not, but uh, Saturday, Sunday, hopefully we get the steel rolling here, which means that very next week, we'd have steel on the roof, which would be wonderful. So I just want it on the roof. Once it's on the roof, I, I think I'll chill a little bit. Um, probably not too much because I want the sides covered. But uh, yeah, that then that next week, of course, after we get the roof on, then I can get my masons out here to get the brick going. Once the bricks go on, then we can get the drip edge on, and then the set the walls on, except for the front wall and the side wall, of the the uh, house side wall of the office because still waiting on windows. I'm pretty sure my garage doors are here. I need to call on that. I haven't. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the garage doors are in So that won't really slow us down. However, comma, I don't want to put the garage doors in until I put the ceiling on um, So yeah, there's that uh, electrical um, Really good conversation with the the inner county Energy uh, building or electrical inspector. Um, I've heard horror stories. I mean horror stories of this guy and uh, I called him yesterday morning and just said hey in Kentucky, I know that the homeowner can do their own electrical. And I said, I'm interested in doing that. And I said, how do I go about opening a permit and uh, as a homeowner? And then uh, what are the inspection cycles? You know, I know there's a service inspection, a rough -in inspection, and a final inspection, you know. Um, and he said, yeah, that's basically the inspection cycle. No worries. And, of course, you know, I've had shop in high school. I talked about that, you know. And, um, 
I, I did have a question for him though. I want to put that ceiling in while I have the lift. And uh, um, my rough in inspection should be before I put the ceiling in, but I really just want to throw wire up across with the boxes for the lights because they're plug-in lights and then the plugs for the the doors and uh, um and then put that ceiling up um and he he said he would go if i left him an access he'd go from above and look down and that is not normal i mean that's not that's like that's a that's an inspector going out of his way um and i was so appreciative for that because i'm thinking man i have to I have lifts rented and then you know if he doesn't show up like on the spot which would be insane to think that he could uh then i was gonna have to rent the lifts again to put the ceiling in and i really didn't want to do that that was just a whole lot more money um so i'm very thankful for this inspector and again i've heard horrible horrible stories about the guy so i was so scared but the guy i mean maybe it's your attitude when you, when you talk to people that he reacts to because when i went when i was talking to him i mean he I mean, I, I was, you know, he's the boss. I'm just trying to figure it all out, right? So, um, so I came at him from that approach, and he really responded. There, my neighbor running, Steve, running down the road, good on him. He's so healthy. Um, but I came at it an angle of, uh, um, you're the expert. I've just got to get conformed to what you need, right? Um, and he was great. He was great. So I was thankful for that. Um, and so that really helps me out. So when we. When we go to put the ceiling in, I'll lay out the flat part of the, you know, I, I got premium ribs, so I'll have to find the distance for that rib and then get that to the closest to where I want those three lights, 15 boxes to go, um, plus the five for the garage doors. Um, and we'll lay those out and cut them in as we go. But really great on him to let me do that. And we'll leave him an access hole in the cover, which I need an access hole anyway, because I'm going to do blown in insulation up in the ceiling eventually. Um, I did look at insulating the office, but it was it was about a thousand something dollars, right? Um, just for the insulation, so that'll go on hold for a while. I just got to get this thing undercover for now, and uh, maybe the wife will get off me for spending money. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, that's my morning. I'm gonna try to get a couple more bolts in, and then go help this guy with some electrical, and then uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll get back at this and finish this out today. We'll see. But I have till Wednesday, really. So, all right. That's all I got to say, I think. Talk to you in a bit. All right, YouTube. You know what that is? <laughs> that is the last bolt on this top plates that I have to put in. So that's good. It's, uh, I don't know what time it is. It's 2.44, so uh, I think I started about 11. So that's not terrible. 11, 12, 1, 2, yeah. I'm a little slow, I know. But I got done. Saved me those hours, so... That's good. I can put a little love in my building too. So I think I'm going to clean up, put all this stuff away, and then uh, I actually got to winterize the RV today, so I'm going to get on that and get that done, hopefully. And uh, yeah, probably call it a day after that. We'll see. But uh, she's looking good. She's looking good. For sure. All right, see you next week.